The pictures are graphic and disturbing. 34-year-old Michelle Jordan of Sunland battered and bruised allegedly at the hands of two LAPD officers. The married mother of one who works as a registered nurse was pulled over last Tuesday on Foothill Boulevard and Saluda Street for a cell phone violation. She drove into this Del Taco parking lot, and what happened next was captured on the restaurant's surveillance camera. Watch as Jordan gets out of her vehicle. Moments later, she is slammed to the pavement and handcuffed. The officers pick her up, put her against the patrol car, and pat her down. About a minute and 40 seconds later, the two officers push her down to the ground a second time before pulling her up, putting her in the back seat of the cruiser, and citing her for resisting arrest. We have a defenseless woman in a sundress, two fully armed police officers with training and various uh, restraining devices that they could have used, and instead they used nothing but brute force. Jordan is not speaking to the media directly, but her story is being told through her attorneys. What they say is the most egregious, the celebratory gesture of a fist bump afterwards. The simple word is outrage. If any one of us, if any person on the street behaved that way, attacked an innocent woman, they would be in jail. They would go to prison, they would be facing charges. We expect that the LAPD officers to be held to the same standard. The officers are with the LAPD's Foothill Division, the same division whose reputation was tarnished for its involvement in the notorious Rodney King beating more than 20 years ago. One of the officers involved in this alleged use of force incident is a 22-year veteran. The other is a probationary officer with only 10 months on the job. Tonight, Police Chief Charlie Beck is responding with this statement, quote, My initial review of the officer's statements and the recorded video caused me to have serious concerns about this use of force. We will investigate this thoroughly and hold our officers accountable for their actions. Uh, the words on the side of their car is to protect and serve. It's not to intimidate and harass. And, and that's exactly what they're doing.